Hey everyone, Master Grogan here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. It's day 12 of the 31 days to become bullyproof. Yes, and man, we have had quite an 11 days. I had a birthday yesterday. I turned the big 5-0. Yeah, baby. Feeling pretty good. Yeah. Well, if you haven't listened to the previous 11 days, go back and check those babies out. They're here on the Grogan's Bullyproof page where you found this. And they're going to be on the YouTube channel as well. It's uh, Kicking Life Master Grogan is our YouTube channel. So what are we talking about today? Well, I'm going to switch gears a little bit. I'm going to talk about another way that I often bully myself. And I know from talking to a lot of folks, this is something that oftentimes we have a lot of trouble with. A lot of folks have a lot of trouble with. And that is wasting time. Wasting time on, and this will be a whole category. I'll do several days on wasting time. But the first one I want to talk about, which is one of the biggest, biggest, biggest things that I hear from so many people, and I know I'm plenty guilty of this, is wasting time worrying about what other people think. Huh. Worrying like, huh, are people going to like this video? Are they going to like these 31 days to become bullyproof? Do people like me? Man, worrying about that. Now, can I change that? Well, I, I can do my best to be a better person. I can do my best to do my best with these videos and the content that I write. I can do my best to be as empowering as I can to continue to self-educate, to continue to surround myself with motivational leaders. They're gonna strive and drive and push and be an engine to drive me to be a better person, to be a better Christian, to read the Bible more. Yeah, I can work on all those things. And just by saying those things, I'm thinking, yeah, I could probably do a little bit better with those things. Now we talked about the eight black belt principles and how they factor in our life and how any time that I've kind of slid off the path of those core values and those black belt principles, how that's led to bullying myself by not being respectful and disciplined to myself. Well, I need to be, and I'm encouraging you to be just as disciplined about not wasting time on anything because we've only got so much time on this planet. When you waste it, it's gone. And I always talk about you can always make more money. I know it never seems like it when it's time to pay bills. You never have enough, right? But we can. We can make more money, but we can never make or buy more time. When it's gone, baby, it's gone. So to waste time is to waste the most sacred commodity we have. And to waste time worrying about what other people think, what other people are going to say about you. Man, oh man, you talk about a biggest waste of time and the biggest way to bully yourself. Can you control what other people think, say about you or anybody else? Absolutely not. And I ask that question because <laughs> Lord knows I need to hear it too. I cannot control what people think about this video or what people think about me or what people think about what I'm trying to do here by empowering people with hope. I can't. I can't think about the replies in the comments. But I sure as heck can't waste time worrying about what possibly could happen or what they possibly could say. So you can't really worry about what people are going to think or say about you. They're going to say what they want to say. Now, does that mean you have to listen to it? Does that mean you have to digest it? Does that mean it has to plant a seed in your mental garden? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I did a video not too long ago, and it talked about, listen, do not accept criticism and negative input from somebody you wouldn't go to for advice. If you would not go to that person for advice on helping you become a better person, on helping you solve a problem, then why in the world, if you wouldn't go to them for that, why in the world would you listen to any kind of negative criticism or hating or bullying that they have to say to you? A good little term I call love, block, and delete. Love people because God says we're supposed to, but also love yourself, block, and delete. Get rid of them. Unfriend them. You don't need that in your life. You do that a little more often. Man, is it going to help you not uh, worrying about what other people think? That's a battle you're going to have to fight on your own. But I do know this. When you're able to feel good about what you say and what you do, it makes you feel a lot better about love block and delete and unfriending somebody. So I've done it. I know a lot of you have done it. Don't continue to do it. Don't waste your precious sacred time worrying so much about what other people think. They're gonna think what they wanna think and there's nothing you can do about it. But like I said, don't let the criticism of someone you wouldn't take advice from plant negative seeds in your mental garden because then you'll waste even more time bully proofing yourself thinking, oh, maybe they're right. Maybe I am an idiot. Maybe I am a dork. Maybe these videos suck. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Man, I waste my time worrying about that. I'd never do another video again. I'd never get out of the house. I'd be afraid to do anything. I don't want that to happen to you. 
don't do it. Don't live with regret and don't waste your time worrying so much about what other people think. If you know in your heart you're doing what's right, that's all that matters. Yeah, my grandma used to say, Richie, if you put God first, nothing else really matters. Now, Richie didn't always put God first. Yeah, that's opening up and sharing. And of course, when I didn't, eh, I let that bully inside win. All right, there you go. That's day 12, baby. How you like that? Wasting time worrying about what other people think. Don't do it, because you don't get that time back. I love you. God loves you. Please share that love with the world. And until we talk again, you get out there and do your best. And I promise you'll be your very best. You'll become bullyproof and you'll live your best kick in life, baby. Yes. And that's the goal. That's the pinnacle of what we're doing here. And what is a kick in life for those that don't know? Man, you're kicking butt. You're cashing checks. You're taking names. Life has kicked your butt. It's handed to you. But you've got back up and fought one more round. And now you're living the life you were always meant to live. That's a kick in life. All right. Can't wait to talk to you tomorrow. Day 13 coming up tomorrow. God bless you. God bless your loved ones. Chat real soon. Bye-bye.